Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We have dangerous people here. Very dangerous people. They're terrified. Liberal, Labor, everyone's scared of us. And with good cause. But before we start, I'd like to just segue from the previous segment. Uh, Stephen, where are you? Superb. Absolutely superb. Now, for, this is being streamed, I believe. Is that correct? No? It's a pity. Let's pretend it's being streamed. A uh, message for Tim South Poth Possum Insane. Um, now, don't laugh at this. This is not a joke. So no laughing, because you'll be hauled before the Human Rights Commission. OK, here we go. Heaven is where the police are British, the chefs are Italian, the mechanics are German, the lovers are French, and it's all, all organised by the Swiss. <laughs> that sounds fair enough to me. Hell is where the police are German, the chefs are British, the mechanics are French, the lovers are Swiss, and it's all organised by the Italians. <laughs> no laughing, I told you, don't laugh. See, what young Tim, that Labour appointee, doesn't understand about Australia is for years we've had our own 18C. And you'll recognise it, it looked like this. Imagine a pub, typical Australian pub, half a dozen characters sitting around, exercising their right arms. And someone in the corner would say something stupid. And one bloke would, very slowly, because you don't want to move too quickly while you're drinking, he'd look up and go, I'll pull your head in, cobber, and get back to his drink. That was the Australian 18C. And we didn't need somebody in Canberra to tell us what to say, what not to say. We checked ourselves. We knew what was right and wrong. We knew how to live our lives and leave other people more or less alone to live theirs as long as they went dickheads and then we take them out the back, sort them out and then we'd be good again. <laughs> That's how it worked. Why are we here today? Is it because you've got nothing better to do on a Saturday morning? We've all got lots of things to do but we're not there, we're here. Because we know that we're in trouble. Not us, we're good. But the country's in trouble. And we don't have to go through the, the ins and outs of that. We are so frustrated and upset by it and worried by it, and as we should be, that we're here today to do something about it. That's why people are frightened of us, because we are dangerous. We are unpredictable. We are willing to speak our minds regardless of the cost to us. And that's what we have to do. We know the country's being destroyed bit by bit, but it's not like an external threat, an army that wears a uniform, has a chain of command that you can actually identify and attack. No, this is from within. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out whether our political leaders were <coughs> imbeciles, incompetent, lazy or corrupt. And I can't say corrupt, apparently, because that's the one thing you can't say about them. They're not corrupt, they just have other priorities. And then it struck me, finally, because I'm a bit of a slow learner, I'm just a simple soldier. It finally struck me. They're all four. They've sold us out, and they're working for somebody else. And it'd be nice if we had some politicians that worked for you. Because you pay their salary. You are their boss. You tell them what to do, and they say, yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir. That reminds me of a question. Uh, the old question, how did you go bankrupt? Well, slowly at first, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> and that's what's been happening to our country. Very slowly, bit by bit by bit. You sort of, you see things going wrong, but you're sure someone's going to take care of it. And all of a sudden, right now, at this point in time in history, we're right on the edge of a cliff, and we're about to fall. And there is no coming back. We don't have two or three election cycles to get this right. We have one, the next one. And that could be in three months, it could be in nine months. But either way, we have one left. That's how close we are. We do not have time. I wish we had more time. We could build a party. We could build our coffers. We could penetrate the community and let them know what's going on. But we don't have time. We're out of time. And you can tell because the, our competition, our adversaries are overreaching. In every sphere, you can see them overreaching because they know that they are out of time. They get it right. This time, whether the Liberals or Labor get in, that's it. They have won. Because you and I know, both know that both of those parties are controlled by the same people behind them. And we are the only thing between them and success. And not we as a group. I mean, individuals. You. You're between them. 
You're between them. You're between them. Every one of us in this room, every one of us counts. We need everyone in this room. Everyone's opinions, every voice, every hand and every heart and every head. Every one of us matters. The conservative liberals are no help. I attended a, a, um, a function at the Hills Conservative Forum, the Liberal Party, not long ago, and they had uh, Craig Kelly and Professor Ian Plymer there. Both very impressive, very impressive, fantastic. Um, at one point I got up to say a few words to suggest that maybe we should work together. They ripped the microphone out of my hand because they didn't want to hear from me. And then the penny dropped. They are spineless. The only thing the conservative liberals are doing is trying to stem the flow, the exodus from their own party. They have no idea. Now, how do I know that? Because from the floor, Kelly was challenged. What are you going to do about it? You've told us what's wrong. That's fantastic. What are you going to do about it? Guess what Kelly did? He literally stood there like a mongrel dog with his tail between his legs. He dropped his head and his shoulders and he sat there and said nothing. And Plymer took the political question. The conservative liberals are our natural allies and we want a strong conservative liberal party, but don't rely on them. We're in this by ourselves, folks. We really are. That's why every man and woman, every man jack of you counts. You can't leave. I'm checking at the door later. <laughs> so what are we going to do about it? Are we capable? Are we adequate to the task? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Corey, Sally, the candidates, and all of you, we are adequate to the task. We can do this. We have to do this. We have no choice. We cannot afford to lose. There is no second chance. And the reason is because we know the difference between right and wrong. And this election is no longer about left and right. It's about right and wrong. That's it. That's all you need to know to sell the Conservatives to the, to the electorate out there. Don't, never, here's a bit, 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 bit of uh, military strategy for you. Don't fight on the ground of the enemy's choosing. If they invite you to a fight, you say, thank you very much, but I'm not going to fight there. Stick with what's right and wrong. Does that sound right to you, that we give $91 million to Hamas terrorists when our farmers are starving? Does that make sense? You win the argument. They can't argue against it. Stick with right and wrong. We've got to, where are we? That's it. We have to provide the leadership that nobody else is providing. How many times on TV do you hear, we need leadership in this country? Well, what they're actually saying is, we want someone to do what I want you to do. Well, that's not leadership. Most people wouldn't know real leadership if they tripped over it. And that includes people in the military because they haven't got a clue either. The military knows about the lawful execution of authority, but real leadership comes from here. And we've got it in spades. Every person in this room's got it. But we're going to run through it in the breakout session, so it's a big advertisement. Come down here, we'll go through in more detail. But right now, I'll give you a quick Soldiers 5 on why we're going to win and why we can win. One, we're going to establish trust. And trust isn't some vague, woolly concept. It's hard and measurable. One, be honest. Just tell the truth. If you don't know, you don't know. If you disagree, say you disagree. Two, be consistent. Be consistent. Three, be competent. Know your job. People will trust you if you know your job. If you're a mechanic and you say, what the hell is this, as you hold up a spanner, not getting a lot of work. Four, be measured. Be measured. And last, be loyal. But understand this, loyalty is the wisdom of fools. Blind loyalty is the wisdom of fools. Be loyal to an ideal, not to a person. Not to a party. For, for example, the AC for me is a means by which I will achieve an objective which is to save the country. Now, it'll never happen, but imagine the AC decided to become Bill Shorten's best friend. See you later, Corey. Because I'm still going where I have to go. But be loyal to an ideal. Two, we must be people of good character. It matters. Civilizations are built on character and they collapse when the character goes. The Roman Empire for 500 years was built on solid character and the moment it went from the Republic to the dictatorships for the next 500 years, it was on a slow road to oblivion. Character counts first. Next, 
Capability, we have to know our job. There's two parts to this, we, the skill and the will. Learn your jobs, find out. There are people in this room that know a lot of stuff that you don't, and you know a lot of stuff that they don't. Talk, learn from each other. Every one of you has got something in here and in here that nobody else has in the same combination. We need you. The country needs you. Your children need you. Your grandchildren need you. Four, you must invent. We are a small party with few resources. Anybody can win a war with a thousand tanks and a bag of gold. Or we ain't got either. We have to think of new ways to fight this war. We don't have the resources to fight a conventional battle. Think about it. Invent new ways to get through the, to the people. Because what do we need? Votes. That's it. Just votes. We can have the best speeches and the best ads, but if we don't get votes, it counts for nothing. We need votes. Votes wins elections, and we need to win elections. It's like my daughter's soccer team. They're all over the place. And the coach said, is everybody having fun? And I pulled the coach aside and said, can you see the boys? They have fun by winning. <laughs> the girls were having fun because they were running around in circles. <laughs> but the boys need to win. That's how we have fun. We don't have fun with the OC until we win. And in this election, we need to win big. <laughs> Finally, we have to know who we are. And let me summarise this for you. I mean, really deeply know who you are. When a young man lives for himself, he lives in fear because he's afraid he's going to lose everything he's got. I know that of which I speak. When you live for somebody else, all of a sudden, you live with courage. Somehow, somewhere, all of a sudden you can do better and do more because you're living for somebody else. And then there's a third level. When you live for an ideal, you're now in the realm of faith. You can't explain it, you just know. And you're willing to risk everything for it. And there's a fourth level, and this is where we have to be. When you know who and what you are at the deepest possible level, you will do what must be done regardless of the cost to you. It doesn't mean it's not going to be hard, but the decision to make the right decision is as easy as pie. And if we know who and what we are and what we were put on this planet to do, no party, no army can defeat us. And that's the last point. Now, to finish off before our next speaker. Can we do this? Yes. Trump did it. Brexit did it, we're going to do it. We're the third chapter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've dedicated the next 40 years of my life to this cause. Win, lose, draw, I'm pushing ahead. Are you with me? Yes. Can't hear you. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>